Uh, welcome back, everyone, to Ferris State Basketball postgame coverage. Rob Bentley and Sandy Golston with you from courtside here at Jim Wick Arena where the Bulldogs get the win over Purdue Northwest by a score of 89-75. to Joined now by the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Andy Bronkema, as uh, coach uh, representing uh, the legendary John Thompson uh, with the towel here today. But uh, got to be pleased and, and proud of the way your guys came back and played here today. Yeah, I, I was really impressed with our team today. It's the best we played all year, and uh, it was a lot easier to coach <laughs> when they were making all those plays. We made a lot of plays today, and uh, I give our guys all the credit for sticking with it, and uh, it's, it's been a crazy year. But today was a great game for us. We played really well. Um, if we play, It's hard to play that well every single game, so we know we're going to have to find some grittier ways to win, but tonight was one of those nights when we just – we, we were that good, and, uh, you know, you, you're not going to lose too many of those games. But, you know, tomorrow will be a different story. We know that, these back-to-backs, and we'll have to find a new way tomorrow um, and, and do the best we can. But the rebounding was really the story tonight, and, uh, you know, because anytime you can do that, it's impressive, especially against a team like that that really crashes the glass well. Obviously, uh, you look at the numbers, uh, some impressive numbers here today. I think the one that stands out, maybe Walt Kelser, not uh, the 22 points he had, but the 10 assists, uh, very unselfish with the basketball here today. I mean, I'm proud of him because we've been challenging him to um, be inspirational in other areas. And we've all seen the inspiration as a scorer. I mean, he's one of the best we've had here at Ferris. And he wants to do that. And his desire is starting to show through here in that 10 assists. So that's a big deal. I mean, and you're good, Robert. You're pointing out all the storylines really, really well. I mean, I, I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to mention that because we've been asking him to, and we need him to be inspirational. Um, and it's, it's, it's impressive what he did today. How much uh, you look at the numbers, Ben Davidson, 24 points uh, here, another big game. Uh, how, how much uh, has his improvement here offensively and him stepping up really helped uh, the, the cause here in terms of the scoring? Well, it's helped out a ton, and uh, he's had it in him. You know, it's just it's a maturation process, and we've asked him to shoot the basketball when he's open, and, you know, there's a little honeymoon period here. I'm sure people guard him a little tighter now, but that'll loosen up for Walt or somebody else. I mean, so he's doing a good job. He's a sophomore for us, and, you know, he, he redshirted, he developed, he got hurt, and really had a trying year last year, and, and this year is a trying year for everybody. And, Everybody's got stories. And uh, now that he's had two big games in a row, I mean, that's something to to remember. And, you know, but be careful because make your bed, you got to sleep in it. So here we go, third night in a row. Obviously, uh, you had a double-digit lead. Uh, they kind of trimmed it back. I think they got within four at one stage. But uh, your guys uh, certainly uh, made the plays they had to, to, to regain that lead and, and push that margin back up. Yeah, we punched back and we settled back into the things we wanted to do and it was player-led. So before I could say what I needed to say, it was already said. Very encouraging thing, very encouraging. So a lot of happy storylines today. We gotta turn around and do it tomorrow. Um, it's crazy league and it's hard to do. And Purdue Northwest is very talented and they have a lot of pride and a good coach. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll be turning the page, but we, we played good today. How nice was it uh, here at the end to be able to get Dorian and Louie in there, a uh, guy that you haven't had all season long, and uh, nice to see him back in uniform. Yeah, I just think our training staff's done a great job. Uh, Keely's done a great job of communicating that out and, and getting them back, and Dorian's done a great job, and we, we just want to do it. We want to do it by the book, make sure he's safe, but, you know, he dealt with double shoulder surgery. You know, had it, didn't heal, had it again. So he's been out a long time, and and uh, we we've, we felt like dressing him today and m maybe putting him in, and we'll see where that goes, but uh, I'm happy for him and he certainly was a great player for us last year and um, you know it's going to have a big year for us next year so you know what what kind of role he can develop in a short period of time I, I, I don't know but you know I'm a gambling man so we'll see. Obviously uh, you look to come back tomorrow and get the sweep uh, what does it take to get ready to, to go again tomorrow and uh, try to pull out another win? Well, just consistent concentration and, and mental effort you know to be locked into what we need to do uh, each and every possession and do that for long periods of time uh, 40 minutes if you can you never really can for 40 minutes but um, that's what it's going to take and I mean, it's been it's been tough to sweep we haven't swept at home yet have we we haven't been at home a lot so anyway it's tough to do and it's it's proven true this year so we're trying to get it for the first time well, coach thanks for uh, the time we'll talk to you again tomorrow thank you guys we'll